So we've got a couple more examples of working with indices here. Um, we're going to start off by writing this expression as a power of 3. So the best way to do these kind of problems is to really take your time and do them step by step. Now, first of all, notice that we've got this lone 3 here, and I can write that as 3 to the power of 1. Now just look at the top half of the fraction, 3 to the 4 times 3 to the 1. We can use one of our rules to say that that is 3 to the power of 5, 4 plus 1 over 3 to the power of 10. Okay, so the numerator is 3 to the 5. Now this is 3 to the 5 divided by 3 to the 10. And we know that if we divide, then we subtract the indices. So we've got 5 take away 10 is minus 5. And so this is now what we want. This is now a power of 3. The second example here, 27 to the 10, well we know that 27 is 3 cubed. So this is 3 cubed to the power of 10. Okay, 27 to the power of 10 must be 3 cubed to the power of 10. And we know that one of our rules says that if we've got an index inside a bracket and an index outside, then they multiply together. So this is 3 to the power of 30, because 3 times 10 is 30. So that is how we can use our rules to manipulate these expressions.